In chapter 6, which is titled, How Are Goods Made and Brought to Us? We will talk about goods, where they are grown, how they are sold, traded, where we can get them, how they travel. Today, most people in the United States do not grow their own food. They do not make their own clothes. Instead, they buy them. In this chapter, you will learn how goods are grown on farms and made in factories. Goods are things that can be bought, sold, and traded. Then, you will read about the different ways that goods travel to stores. You will see that that word is bold and in blue goods. That's an important word. You will hear that word a lot. Remember, goods are things that can be bought, sold, and traded. You will hear the word goods quite a bit in this chapter, which is titled, How Are Goods Made and Brought to Us? Now, in the beginning, it did say most people in the United States do not grow their own food, but you might know somebody that does grow their own food. You might know a farmer. You might know... You know, a family member, you might even grow your own food at home. You might have a garden. So you might be saying to yourself, but Mrs. Simmon, I grow my own food, which is so cool. Maybe in the summertime, you love picking green beans or tomatoes from your garden. And maybe also, you know somebody that does make their own clothes, which is such an awesome, special skill. So this is a little preview of words you will learn more of and we'll talk more about, which is... Goods, transportation, canal. So, part one, farmers grow our food. Farmers grow most of our food for us. Some farmers grow wheat, some farmers grow corn, and some farmers grow tomatoes. Some farms are small and other farms are large with lots of land for growing crops. Some farms are near the ocean, other farms are in the middle of the country. What different foods can you name that grow on farms? And just a little note, where we live and where, where you live in Grand Ledge or Delta Center, you live near lots of farmland. You have probably driven by farms or know people who grow far, or live on farms. Maybe you have family members. So it is not uncommon in our area to be near a farm. We can be near a city and we can also be near a farm. Maybe you visited a farm this summer or a farmer's market. And maybe you got to go pick out produce like fruits and vegetables. So what different foods can you name that grow on a farm? I'm going to add in Zucchini. What about cucumbers? Or beans? Pumpkins? How about watermelon? Tomatoes. Potatoes. Can you think of any more? I bet you can. I bet you can think of some of your favorite fruits and vegetables that might grow on a farm. Our next part, people make many goods in factories. Most of our other goods, like toys and clothing, are made in factories. Factories often have large machines. They use many workers. Each worker does one small part of the whole job. 
together they make lots of goods. What things can you name that come from factories? In the picture, you can see them putting together a, a video game console. It looks like an Xbox, which makes me think that what we use every day is probably made in a factory, iPads. And what we drive, cars. Cars are made in factories. And airplanes. And maybe some of our toys. And lastly, we just take a look at a busy shirt factory. It takes many workers to make one shirt. One shirt, one worker cuts shirt pieces from cloth. Another sews the pieces together. A third worker sews on buttons. And another makes button holes. Other workers add pockets and labels. At the end, one person makes sure that the shirt is perfect. Then it is ready to be ironed and wrapped. How many workers do you think made the clothes you are wearing? What are some things or goods that you buy in stores? Think about food, clothing, toys, books, electronics. Do you go into the stores? Do you help with grocery shopping? Maybe your family does some online shopping or has food delivered to the house. You're still buying goods. You're still purchasing from a store. It is just being brought to you in a different way. You probably visit more than one store to get the goods that you need. Maybe you buy your produce from Horrocks. Maybe you go to Target to get your clothes. In the summertime, in the fall, in the spring, and even sometimes in the winter, we go to places like farmer's markets to get our fruits and vegetables. We visit apple orchards and pumpkin patches in the fall. The farmer's markets are places where farmers go to sell all of the produce that they've been growing because they want to share what they've grown with all the people around them. And same with people that have apple orchards and pumpkin patches. These are usually located on or near farms. And these pumpkins and the apples are goods. 